Hello and welcome to Ice Eagle. Today I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're on the southern map and I'm going to be taking you on the southern map over to the mainland for a little bit and then straight down to Pro Mods for Middle East. So today we're doing a fairly lengthy journey. It shouldn't be too long, it should be a one part episode. But yeah, so we're traveling to. We're traveling to Engidi, which is in the Middle East. We're taking that in terms of cauliflowers in our little Stokes trailer. So let's get on the move, shall we? So. Yeah, so as I was saying, like, basically all we're doing today is modded maps. None of this is what you see as part of a base game. It's the southern map, the southern region, and also pro mods. I've not played much with these types of mods before, but I've heard they're really good quality and I've seen them a little bit. Oh wow, look at this traffic. There's so much is now, I might have to cheat a little bit and go down the side. Oh, I fancy a nice cold Pepsi after that. Nice cold refreshing Pepsi. Just imagine the can of that, just sipping that with a bit of bites and a lemon wedge. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Anyway, as you can probably tell, I've got a bit of a traffic mod installed, so it it adds new trailers, new sort of like new cars, so it's real life cars. I'm oh, you gonna stop there. I know I jumped at the start, but you, I'm trying to take this seriously, but I didn't want to be queuing up for ages there, so I might have skipped the traffic a little bit. But these these are sort of like modded cars so you might see real life cars such as like Mini Coopers, BMWs, Mercedes, basically any car you can think of that's on the road you'll see it here. And also I've got a traffic density mod, I'm not sure if you've heard of them but it basically messes around with the traffic a little bit so sort of during the day it increases the traffic so it's more like real life so that's why there was loads of traffic back there. But I think also at night it reduces the amount of traffic, which is quite clever actually. I think that's a really good addition to the to the game. That's why I feel this game's done so successful. It's just because of the mod support that the company the company who made this game they gave loads of support to all these modders to basically build on build on the Bates game. And basically enhance the experience so it sort of feels more fresh because all these maps it adds so much new content to the game but you can keep on playing a lot longer a lot lot longer like double triple the amount of time you would have played just the basic game anyway as you can probably tell i'm kind of new to this so if you have any feedback or want to drop any comments below Feel free to hopefully you enjoy the video though. There's plenty more to come. So need to be turning left here. Not busy is it? I've just got to take my chances and go. Oh look at them two people, what are they up to? Anything dodgy? Who knows? Right, let's get this cauliflower on a move. The, this town wants nine tons of it. Must be very healthy eaters. Like, I don't think Manchester, the place where I'm from, would want nine tons of cauliflower. More like nine tons of chips or burgers or something. Anyway, this is a newish profile, so. I've got an IFACO, but it's, I think it's quite a weak one. It's one of the first ones you can get on your save. But yeah, it's doing the job. It's pulling this. It's a bit boxy, isn't it? Like a little square at the top. But I don't know, I kind of like that. I think it's kind of, you know, cute, I guess. Well, look, let's go now almost up to 90. 90 kilometers per hour. That is, it surely can't be miles per hour. We'll go a lot faster. Nice bridge. Ah, 
Oh yeah, I've got abandoned road events on. So I think that's why there was just something something untoward in the middle middle of the road, but yeah. Luckily we were paying attention and missed it. <laughs> Turn left here. Looks like we're joining the main sort of highway. I also plan to stream this soon. I've got a Twitch channel. I've streamed there uh, once or twice. I've streamed Euro Truck before this game. I've also streamed a bit of a retro PS2 game, something from my childhood. Type Tasmanian Tiger. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was a bit of a hidden jab. Sort of with. It was basically a platformer that came out in the early 2000s. So it's a bit like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro the Dragon or. Jack and Daxter, it's a bit like them, but it was probably the lesser known one of a, of a few, so. Yeah, I can understand if you don't don't know what that game is. Yeah, but I've streamed Spat and I've streamed Euro Truck Simulator 2. I plan on streaming Euro Truck Simulator this weekend on the 22nd of. No. 1920. The 23rd of May. I should be streaming this Saturday. I'm from the UK, so it would be at a reasonable British time. Say around around 6 p.m. 6 p.m. BST. I'll be streaming live on Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash. Is it a forward slash? Or it's forward slash IC Eagle TV. I think it's a forward slash. It's whatever that. Yeah, it's that symbol there. It just goes down like that. I don't know what the official term is. Oh wow, I've just noticed something. The ETA, it says expected in, well, apparently we're going to arrive in 58 hours, 48 minutes, so it's pretty impressive, right? I don't think it's going to take that long because that journey sort of takes into account all the boats, the ferries, the two big ferries we're doing. That's where most of the time is, so. Yeah, the video is definitely not going to be sort of hours or different parts. It should come out in one part. It depends how long it takes, but I'm going to guess one part. But you'll be able to see down below if it's one or two parts. Anyway, welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying it. If there's any video ideas you want to give me or anything I can do, any of the simulators I can play or anything I can do in Euro Truck Simulator 2, any videos you want, let me know in the comments, I'll be more than happy to hear your ideas. It'll be really good to get all, all of you involved in the content I make. Oops, not on a random indicator. This bridge has got a rather slow speed, speed limit on, hasn't it? Yeah, but as I was saying, it'll be good to get some fresh ideas, new ideas. I've got quite a bit of plans. I'm not going to say much, but I've got quite a bit of plans about new games I want to play and more, more stuff I want to do with this game, Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll be good, good and entertaining to watch. So I think, I'm not exactly sure what countries the southern region covers, but I think it's going towards Eastern Europe, into a bit of like Ukraine and Russia, I think quite a bit of it's Russian. And it just seems rather flat here at the moment, but there's not much. It's nice countryside, whoa, that fire engine's had a bad time. Not sure what's happened to him. Or her, could be a fire, firewoman, who knows, it's 2020. I'm not going to judge. Yeah, there's not much countryside here, just open fields. It's not what I was expecting whatsoever. Well, hopefully we're not too far away. I'm just going to show you the map for one second so you hopefully you can see what journey we're going to be taking today. It's actually quite a long journey to begin with. We're going to be going through this, these roads. It looks like it's, it gets quite crazy around here by the time we get to 
Hobo Pushnik. I didn't save it right. What? Who knows? I might have done. Hopefully, no one's watching from that region. I doubt they are, but my luck means someone probably is watching and super offended. And then we're off to we get a ferry to greet, and then we jump on another ferry, make our way here, go through. Oh wow, we go through Jerusalem in Israel, straight down here to our destination. The Middle East need the colour flowers. I wonder what the Middle East are going to do with them. I'm going to turn them into a nice sort of cauliflower curry. Is this, it's a word for cauliflower curry. It's like alu, alu sarg, alu gobi. It might be alu gobi, where it's sort of spiced cauliflower in a nice sauce. A lot of turmeric, cumin. I think I've had it once before and it tastes amazing. I would fully recommend that sort of spiced cauliflower in a nice sort of Asian, well it's more like Indian type curry, Indian curry type sauce. I imagine they have it in the Middle East as well. And it tastes amazing. Out of this world. Incredible. But I do love Indian food, as you can probably tell so. I might be a bit biased but it is one of the best Indian foods in my opinion. Up there with a good like chicken korma. Oh. I need to stop talking about food, it's making me so hungry. Anyway, looks like we're joining the M M4, it says. Oh wow, that's a road in England from where I'm from. It's like a massive motorway that goes from Wales all the way to the capital of London. So it's quite a long road. But we're joining another. Ooh. I wasn't paying attention there. I might have hit the barrier a bit just a little bit. Oh, why are you stopping? Why are you slowing down? Slip road is for building up speed, it's not doing what you're doing. Yeah, it looks like we're joining another, a different M4 there. Interesting. Yeah, this, this journey might be longer than they actually thought. I think it's quite a long bit to begin with. Then by the time we get to the Middle East, it's only a short bit, it's only a short drive through Jerusalem, so... Yeah. Quite a pleasant journey, it seems. It's getting its lean. Stopping. Stopping to turn up there. Don't want to get stuck behind them. Apparently the speed limit around these corners is 90. I'm, I am doing 90, but it does feel a tad too fast, in my opinion. Like it's just, it's quite bendy. So, yeah. We are in Russia. I'm not going to say anything, we are in Russia, but... The speed limit is maybe even too, too crazy for Russia. But Russia does look like a good country. I'm not sort of like trying to laugh at it or anything. It seems like a good country and I would love to visit it one day. But for good Russian food. Uh, what lane do I want to be in? I think this lane is fine, right? It's going straight on, yeah. yeah. So this lane is perfect. Let's go straight through here. At 90 kilometers per hour, apparently. Because that's how we do things. Zooming on through. This is a bit tight. Well, it feels a bit tight, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like we've got plenty of room. Yeah, I like this little road. It's bending and weaving. It's just a nice chilled, chilled out road. A nice bit of a challenge to it, but nothing too hard or insane. This road is like really sparkly. It's like I'm driving on. Wait, what? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. It looks like I'm driving on glitter or something. I know that's appearing on the recording. And it's also appearing on my my gaming screen. It just looks really odd. It's flickering. I'm not sure that's what roads look like over there in real life, or if it's just the mods messing up, or my laptop. I'm not sure, but it just looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, Whatever tie bend can't do this at 90. 
This spun out pretty fast, that was 50. <laughs> Imagine if you do that at 90, you'll definitely fall, fall on your side. Oh, is it trying to overtake? No, it's not. Goodness for that. Oh, hello, Mr. Officer. Nothing suspicious going on here. Yeah, so it's going well so far. Bit of, another bit of a tight event. As you can see, it's a new save, so if you look at my money, I've got hardly anything whatsoever. $1,269. No, euros. Euros it is. So, yeah, I've got to be careful with. Whoa. <laughs> Took out way too fast. Yeah, I've got to be careful, which I wasn't. I just probably jinxed myself. I've got to be careful with sort of hitting cars or doing damage, going through red lights, because I've got no money to <laughs> to pay for fines or pay for bills. You know, I've got to be careful. Looks like I'm going right here. Check for mirrors. Some professional driver, you see, professional truck driver. Gotta take things seriously, right? Most people went the other way. Oops. Or do do actually need to indicate? I didn't mean to indicate, but it's a useful one anyway, so yeah, not too bad. Oh please, please don't merge in front of me. Good. Nice. That one closes as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that blue truck doing? He just fully stopped in front of us. Why is that one going so slow? Well, it's 50. So, I can understand. Looks like I'm alright for fuel, I was just checking for petrol stations, but my tank's pretty full. That's not a problem whatsoever. I don't want to go into the back of this car, I'm getting awfully close to our Audi. <laughs> These roads are rather tight. Oh no. Drive off, pretend it never happens. Go, go, go. No, no one saw anything. Hopefully, that police officer wasn't chasing me. Oh, God. What have I done? 400 pounds, 400 euro, fine. Getting a bit of damage. It's not ideal. Looks like I'm clear of all that sh all them shenanigans. Oh, it's 90 here. I don't understand why everyone's just pulling out in front of me and going so slow. Fully slip streaming this truck like basically a pro F1 driver or a NASCAR driver, just to say, as it go before the overtake with the slipstream ball. <laughs> okay, so we're entering. Whoops. We seem to be entering a city I'm not going to pronounce. No, no hope of saying it right. I think we're going to, going to take a little break here. We're going to pull in here so we can have a nap and we can explore the city a little bit. 
let's make our way down the slip roads. Oh wow, this is nice. It's like a little foresty temple attraction. I don't know what's up there. It might just be a nice hill to sort of like see the whole city sightseeing. From there. Yeah, I can see a bed icon on the map. I'm just going to pull over there. Maybe have a bit of a rest. Back on a glittery road. So, so odd. I'm not sure if it's the problem with my laptop or the game. Let's so, never look into that. But I'm pretty sure it's just confined to this, this map mod. So once we get over to the Pro Mods Middle East and the sort of base game, the mainland, I should say, we won't, we won't see that anymore, so okay, there's not much to worry about. Oh, so this is the recruitment agency, but I think the sleeping icon's a bit off the side. Yeah, it's the other side of these buildings, so let's just make our way across. I know, it's, I know it's a pretty difficult time at the moon with... Oh! That truck just disappeared. No idea where to, but... You just fully... Just fully vanished. Something odd going on right here, isn't it? Let's pull in to the hotel. Oh, bit of a big bump. I might turn this into a two-parter just because I realised how big the journey is. So let's have a little rest here. I'm, temp I'm tempted actually to have another rest just so we're driving in the daytime. That would make it a lot nicer. So I tell you what, I'm actually going to sleep again. And let's have a look at the map. I think this, I'm going to turn this into two parts because it's still, so we've come from, I think we've come from here. Yeah, we drove along these little roads. It's just a fair chunk of a journey, but I think if we turn it into two parts, it'll be a nice sort of like 25, 30 minute journey. Journey for each part. It'll be nice to watch, so. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next part. The link will be in the description below when the part two is out. Part two will come out like a day a day after part one comes out, so watch out for that. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like or subscribe if you want to see more. Or comment if you've got any feedback or want to say anything to me. It would be amazing to hear from you. So thank you for watching. It's greatly appreciated your time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.